Hi everyone and welcome back to this course where we learn Fusion 360 together. In this lecture, I want to show you how you can design a hinge that looks like this as simple as possible. So let's get right into it. Before we get started, just want to say uh, sorry for the long break here. Uh, I've been really busy, but now let's get back to this course. And if you are new here, by the way, this is a full course series, so I recommend you start from the beginning. Now, uh, let me close this and start over with a new sketch. So I'm adding a new sketch. Let's choose this plane and let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, first part of the hinge, I'm going to do the uh, rectangular and let's do 25 by five. That looks good. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here and then I need a circle for the hinge. So now the circle should be five in diameter so it can just touch the edges of the rectangular. Now we need another circle inside and this one is going to be the inner circle for the hinge. Let's just do two diameter for this one. And now we need to offset these two circles to allow for the 3D printer tolerance and for the hinge to move. So let's go ahead and offset. Uh, the usual offset is 0 0.4, so we'll stick with that. And let's just apply one more offset to the outer circle here, 0 0.4, and that looks good. Now this is our sketch and that's how it looks like. Let me go ahead and click finish sketch for now and go back to the home view position. The first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to extrude this part. So let's extrude this by 20. And now uh, let me just re-show my sketch. And I need to extrude the first hinge. So the first hinge will be uh, consist of, let's see here, I'm gonna hold the control so I can select multiple faces or multiple, so I'm gonna choose one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is all going to be part of my first hinge. You can see I just ignored this outer layer, the tolerance layer for, um, because I don't need this to be part of the hinge right now. So let's go ahead and extrude this. Um, I'm going to extrude this by five. I think that should be fine. Now, uh, for the other side, so let me just zoom out, and hopefully this is already making some sense. For the other side, remember, the whole thing was 20. This is just five. So if I extrude this face, here, let me try to extru extrude this face. I'm going to offset here. So I, under the extrude menu, I'm going to offset. And here we will offset by 10. And then we will extrude by five. That should cover the whole thing. I'm gonna click okay. And we have our other part. Now, let's do the inner portion of this. And you can see here, if I zoom in, I can just select this inner circle. And I need to click Control and Hold, and then I will extrude this. This will should be just extrude by 20. You can see Fusion is trying to cut, but we will change this here to join from the menu. Click OK for that. And I think this is already making some sense. And uh, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Again, this course is for beginners. So hopefully this making some sense here. Now I'm gonna go back to my sketch and draw the other section. So let's go back and double click on this sketch. And let me just zoom out a little bit here. And here is the other rectangular for the other section. Doesn't matter how far you go, this should be fine. Now I'm gonna click finish sketch and let's go back to that home position one more time. Um, now what I wanna do is I wanna extrude this, but I don't wanna extrude it all the way. So let me just zoom in first, uh, 
hold my control key i want to extrude this 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 and this you can see i'm ignoring the inside with the offset to allow for that movement now we can extrude this and what we need to do is not to only offset by five but 5.4 to allow for for that tolerance once again so i'm going to change this to offset one more time this time i'm going to offset by five uh, 0.4 and the distance I'm extruding remember I need to account for the 0.4 on the other end as well so the middle part you see here the middle part is all 10 but take 0.4 from both sides you'll have 9.2 left so here we need to do 9.2 and I'm gonna click okay that looks good to me and let me just zoom out and as you can see here is well that's not what i meant but here is my hinge is done with some allowance for the tolerance you can 3d print this if you're done but what i want to show you is how you can move it by the way i have shown this in a previous video but in case you didn't see that i'm just going to show you here one more time first i'm going to hide my sketch because we don't need it anymore now here under bodies, we need to convert these two bodies into components. So I'm going to right click, create component from bodies. We're going to choose that. We're going to do that same thing for the other body. Now we've converted both bodies into components. Under assembly, we can click joint. And from this joint menu, flip to the motion and make sure revolve is selected. Now, back to the position, and let's select our first inner circle, and then same for the second one, and that should do it. I'm not sure why things have shifted. I believe I can move this. See, this is the benefit of you watching live demos and, you know, one-shot videos. Anyway, this is back in place. Now, I believe I can move it the way I showed you. There you go. and my hinge is already moving as expected so that's how you move it from the joint i have a full video showing you that so i'm going to skip that for now let's click cancel and we're back to our hinge and it is all done uh this is it for this video uh let me know what you think please leave a comment and i will see you in the next one